Welcome to a brand new edition of Moultrie on the Move. Moultrie on the Move is a, a show that will inform you of things going on in and around Moultrie and Cockwood County. Things have happened in and around our area in Moultrie, Cockwood County. A lot of announcements have taken place and I'm excited to have in the studio today Dr. Jay Feldstein who was the president and CEO of PCOM which stands for the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine and a lot of you have, have seen uh, this name in the news paper and, and heard about what's the great things that's going to be happening in Moultrie and Cockwood County. So welcome to Moultrie and Cockwood County, Dr. Feldstein. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now I know when you left Philadelphia, you did not have the warm weather that you're having here. No, it was four degrees when we left. Plenty of snow on the ground. Plenty of snow, plenty of ice. Well, we're excited and uh, the community has heard about PCOM and the expansion that's going to be taking a place not only in South Georgia, but in Moultrie. And I want to tell you how ecstatic not only our community is, but South Georgia. Well, we're ecstatic to be here. Now, we're going to ask you a couple of questions and uh, fill in uh, some other things if I don't ask. But why start a four-year medical program in South Georgia? Well, you know, Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine has been around for 118 years. Wow. And mm -hmm. we're committed to primary care especially in underserved areas in both the urban and rural setting. And we opened a campus in Swanee, Georgia, approximately 15 years ago. And we're always looking for opportunities for our students for medical education in their third and fourth years. And we came down here and met with several hospitals in terms of developing more clinical rotations just for our existing students on our campus. And we started a discussion at Cockwood Regional Medical Center. Hey, what do you think about the opportunity to start a medical school down in South Georgia? And we know that there are a shortage of primary care physicians in South Georgia. So it was really a unique opportunity. So discussions, one thing led to another. And we have requirements that we have to have the right number of clinical rotations in the third mm -hmm. and fourth year and also graduate medical education or residency programs where medical students specialize and, and become physicians. And through a lot of hard work, through a lot of people, we were able to meet the accreditation standards for that so we could open a four-year medical school down here. Well, that's exciting, and so this is going to happen. And this is going to happen. This is going to happen in Moultrie and Cockwood County and South Georgia. And South Georgia. South Georgia. It really is a big opportunity for the entire region. Right, and uh, you know we like to say all roads lead to Moultrie. Moultrie is in the center um, with um, all of the great towns around us, so it's a, a great opportunity for us. Now, let's back up a little bit and talk a little bit about you. Okay. Uh, you're the eighth president. That's correct. Is that correct? And what is your background? Oh, well, I'm an alum. I graduated from PCOM in 1981. Okay. And I practiced emergency medicine for 10 years in Delaware, and then I started my own occupational medicine workers compensation company and had that for about six years, and then sold that and actually went to work for the health insurance world. Okay. I was in the health insurance industry for about 14 years when a friend sent me an email and said, do you know anybody who would be interested in, in being the president of PCOM? And I said, not really, and he said, well, what about you? And one thing led to another, and, and here I am. So it was a really unique opportunity to come back to the school where it all started. That, that is, especially with you being an alumni of, of PCOM. Now, Moultrie, again, we're ecstatic that Moultrie was chosen as a location. Why Moultrie? Well, we used an outside consulting firm called Sasaki mm -hmm. to help us evaluate where the best place to put a medical school would be. And you're right, all roads kind of lead through Moultrie, so it really is equidistant from many of the hospitals that we like our students to, to experience and do clinical rotations in. So exciting, and I met your PR team, and they're great, and, and actually was, was able to meet several of your colleagues uh, a couple of days ago, and just a wealth of information that I learned about PCOM, and just great people, great, great leadership you have on your team. Oh, and you have great leadership in Moultrie as well. Well, thank you. The community you. support has been overwhelming. Now, what programs will be offered? Are you going to be bringing in physical therapy, pharmacy? Well, we're going to start off with a doctor of osteopathic medicine degree. That's a four-year program. And over time, we'll look to bring in additional programs, potentially physician's assistant program, physical therapy, and other ancillary health care fields. Now, 
what are some of the um, some of the fields that are more popular than ever? Is that PA? Is it it's physician's assistant, physical therapy? Obviously, the doctor of osteopathic medicine, EMD, allopathic. A lot of people start still going into you know medical school and the, the medical profession. But I'd say really, physician's assistant programs and physical therapy are like the biggest other areas right now. Okay. Now, students, you're going to be accepting applications. How many students do you expect in the first class? In uh, we're set up for 55 students in the first year, and we hope to recruit a lot of students from South Georgia and Georgia as a whole, and particularly the local community. Well, that's what that was going to lead into the next question. Do the regional students get precedence over, say, someone out of another state or another area? They won't get precedence per se, but there will be a lot of active recruiting in the area with mm -hmm. the local colleges. And we really want to develop pipeline programs at the middle school and high schools around STEM, so science, wonderful. technology, uh -huh. you know, be because we want to develop a pipeline and also work with all the colleges in the area. That's great. You know, now in the high school, even here in Moultrie, uh, you pick a pathway, and health care is one of those pathways, and a lot of the students here are, are already uh, going to the hospital and shadowing and doing different things, so they're already getting excited about the uh, going into the health field, so that might be able to keep them closer home. Right, and we want to build on that, and that's the whole idea, because if you grow up in the area, you go to college in the area, mm -hmm. you go to medical school, do your residency, we know that you're more than likely to stay and practice in that area. Has there been research um, completed that, that about once someone completes medical school in an area, do they stay in that area? 70% of residents, once they finish their specialty training, will stay in the area where they do their residency. Wonderful. So we, we really need to you know, grow the residencies in the area of all the surrounding hospitals as well, which is known as graduate medical education. Dr. Feldstein, you're obviously going to be um, hiring new faculty and staff for the new location. What is the timeline? What do you expect? How do you expect that to happen? Well, over the next 18 months, we'll be actively recruiting for 20 full-time faculty members and also additional staff for student resources and facility management. And we're really actively recruiting to get our associate dean will be really responsible for clinical education on the campus. That's kind of our first priority hire. And that brings us into the construction. What is? What do you think the timeline is going to be on the construction? It's a 12 to 14 month timeline because okay. it is new construction. And we're looking to start that hopefully end of March, early April. And class will start August 2019. How exciting. Now, we talked about this a minute ago off camera. How can our community and the surrounding communities, how can we support your efforts here? This is new to all of us. How can we better support PCOM? Just continue to be as warm and receptive as you've been to help us develop the pipelines for our high school students and college students and all the surrounding communities and just uh, to work with us to make this a really successful regional effort. I understand a lot of your students in the other locations that you have, they complete uh, community service uh, hours. Yes, they've completed over 9,000 community service hours and we'll look to our student body to participate in community service down here as well. And that's exciting because that, that lets us know you will be in the communities, you will be participating, we'll be seeing you. and. Um, it's just a, a great thing. Again, we're all excited about we're this. We're a resource for you, too. I know. So I've learned really that. That's great. So we really to be active and help your communities as well. Now, let's talk about the clinical rotations. Uh, do we have enough accommodations uh, for these students that will be going through PCOM in South Georgia? We do, and we're always looking for more. Uh, right now, uh, many of the hospitals, Cockburn Regional Medical Center, Archibald, are our, our major hospitals mm -hmm. and we're looking to develop more relationship with TIF Regional, uh, Valdosta, and any hospital in the area we'd love to work with to develop rotations. That also shows you all roads lead to Moultrie. That's easily travel area. 
that they could travel to any of those, of those any hospitals, of those towns. and that was part of the decision making mm -hmm. process. Now you have a wonderful website. Like I said earlier, your PR team's great. You have a, a great Facebook site. How can those folks in the area, in the region, all over the state of Georgia and other areas, how can they stay tuned to what's happening in South Georgia? Just go to pcom.edu and look up the South Georgia section and all the updates will be there. Wonderful. I can't thank you enough for being here, and it's been just a, an honor to meet you and your staff, and we look for great things uh, to come. Well, and thank if you. And if we can ever do anything with the city of Moultrie or Cockwood County, please call on us, and we're here to help. Thanks very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for watching us, and thank you for staying tuned to Moultrie on the Move. We want to continue great shows like this to inform you of things going on in our community. And again, we want to thank special guest Dr. Jay Feldstein with PCOM. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great trip back. I appreciate that. And we hope to see you soon. And you will. Stay tuned to more Moultrie on the Moves. And again, we thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Amy Johnson with the City of Moultrie for Moultrie on the Move.